It all started um, in the fall of 1996. There was a, a talent show at the Hilton Hotel, and some of us went to that, and all the talent there was from Seminole County Public Schools. So during the break, Haggerty motioned, said, why can't we do this uh, for Seminole County Schools? I went, I would love it. And I said, but one thing I want, I want it to be an extremely formal affair. I want businesses to buy into it. I want the community to realize the arts are valuable in the schools. And Dr. Haggerty says, work it out. The first year we had it, we had it at AAA and worked with the schools because Fran was aware of some of the talent that was out there. We immediately signed up the Dazzlers and we had Cindy and Gerald Casanova and we signed up the Gospel Choir. And that brought an awareness of some of the things that we're offering in our schools and people didn't know it. And we have just built on that over the last 25 years. It's interesting because each year we have different people audition. I remember one that Lake Brantley had, their drum corps, and they had ladders, tall ladders, and they played the drums on the ladder and did all kinds of tricks with it. I mean, that was awesome. I love the, the little Frank, Frank Sinatra. And we even uh, had a first grader that sang one year and she sang, this girl is on fire, and she was on fire. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. And as long as they keep having students perform, I think we're gonna have Arts Alive will continue to be a real success. It puts on display um, all of those things that we are so proud of, of the, the students and their talents, of our teachers and their love for the arts and, and how they share that with the students. It is at Seminole County Public Schools at its best on display for our, our community. A lot of them put it on their college ap applications. Uh, they put it in their, you know, in their yearbooks, you know, Arts Alive, it, it just gave them a sense of, I, I've made it. We've raised over a million, almost $2 million now. It's been so great to, to watch it you know, grow from not only supporting the performing arts and the visual arts, but all of the other programs in our district. And 25 years from now, I can't wait to, to look back and see the impact, the continuing impact that it, it will have for our students.